The mission of Ashesi University is to educate a new generation of ethical entrepreneurial leaders in Africa. Ashesi University opened its doors in a rented building in Accra with a pioneering class of just 30 students. <laughs> it took a bit of naivete, it took a lot of courage, it took a lot of determination. Our aim was to create a campus. And 10 years later, here is the dream fulfilled. A beautiful new campus in the hills of Brekuzu, northeast of Accra, where international faculty, state-of-the-art computer laboratories and exceptional facilities, including on-site hostels, combined to provide the best educational environment possible in Ghana today. What inspires me is the whole community, the whole vibe, the lectures, the opportunities, the internships, the advice, the talks, the content of the institution, what it stands for. We need ethical leaders, we need people who are compassionate, who work with integrity, who work with dedication and discipline and focus. It's a way of life, it's about integrity, living your life with integrity. I think I have been able to develop that stage, that, 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 that confidence, to be able to sit an, in an examination without an invigilator and keep my head glued on my paper. Or raise my head up and see somebody cheating and have the courage to report to the person. So our task here in Ashesi through the leadership seminar series that we have from year one to the final year is to ensure that by the time our students finish, they understand the importance of leadership. Nothing comes easy, especially ethics. Graduate Charles Kwao of software developer Dream Over. At the crux of all of this ethical leadership is the ability to believe in yourself and the values that are instilled in you. And those values um, are not wavered irrespective of the situation you find yourself in. It's not just about getting the results, but really it's about how you get it done. Uh, and doing it in a way that you can be proud of. Charles Dolly graduated from Ashesi in 2006. Today, he's executive assistant at the African Center for Economic Transformation in Accra. It's not just about what you get for yourself, but really it's about the difference you make to others. Our curriculum encouraged us to see beyond our comfort zones and see that there were real needs among the people in our society. This is precisely what community service, a compulsory component of Ashesi's leadership seminar series, is all about. Students identify needs in surrounding communities and practically apply the skills they've learned to effect change. Araba Amoesi did her community service at the Village of Hope, an orphanage in Gomwa Fete in 2006. So powerful was the experience that it changed the course of her career. Having graduated top of her class as a computer science major in 2007, today she's the chief operating officer of the orphanage. Her attitude towards work is different. Um, she comes with an attitude to accomplish something, to make a difference. Ashesi promotes a strong work ethic amongst its students, giving them the opportunity to solve real business problems in its classroom. Its unique academic program combines the liberal arts with practical majors in business and computer science. The liberal arts is about educating the whole mind and giving people multiple perspectives. Focusing on the student and their development the way they think, the way they think about problems, how they solve problems. Somebody who is studying computer science also has studied economics and done literature and philosophy and has done dance and, and art. So you are given a whole range of tools, including the major that you are focusing on. We are raising students who are innovative, who don't think within the confines of just what they know. They are willing to learn, explore, and challenge the status quo. And so when I look out there and I see employers telling me, look, I need more of your students, that tells me we're doing something good. Ashesi graduates are sought after by local and international companies. Every year, 100% of Ashesi graduates find quality job placement in a wide variety of industries. We've been very, very impressed with the level of integrity the values they have, the education system, the flexibility, to, and then the fact that how they also react to challenge. In Ashesi, you take initiative, and you give it room to operate. So if you're someone who's used to being told what to do or being spoon-fed, you'd find it uh, challenging to work in this kind of environment. They're not uh, paper pushers. Those guys have already brought, been be educated as leaders. Ashesi has given me courage. To date, Ashesi has awarded over $3 million in scholarships to students who need it. When I went to college, it was because 
I got financial aid. I could not have gone to Swarthmore College without financial aid. I understand what it means and I very much want to pass it forward to others. Ashesi's operating expenses are supported by tuition from students who can afford to pay. But donations help the university start new programs and fund more student scholarships. I'm already thinking about the next step, feeling like we've accomplished a great deal, but on the other hand, feeling that this is a lot more to do. We're looking to expand the, the program further uh, with new programs, new degree programs, um, and have a larger student body over time. And we already have um, drawings for phase two of the campus so that we can accommodate more students, more programs. There's always a discussion of how much money should be given to Africa, but I think it has to start here, and that's what Patrick did and uh, the students really incorporate this whole thing. So it's not a question of giving, but participating in it. I have no doubt in my mind, not a single doubt, that our students can and will transform this continent. I strongly believe in staying here and making things work here for us. We're not going to wait for some superman to come in and um, change anything for us. We have started our change in our own small way. We believe that with commitment, with vision, or with a spirit of togetherness, we can begin to create a new Africa. The vision I'm talking about is an African continent that is at par with all others in the world an African continent that is, that is prosperous, where there's opportunity for as many people as possible. Um, the vision I'm talking about really is about the future happiness of the African people.